Hello everyone. So our topic is helmet detection using open CV. As in Indian scenario, we people do not follow traffic rules very strictly. Hence, number of accidents are increasing day by day. Surat is the first city which has launched or implemented e-chalan system. But the things they are watched are manually. Here, the things will be done through computer machine. So this is our problem statement. The tools used over here in software is OpenCV3 library, platform Visual Studio 2013, language C++, and the hardware is just the cam camera and the computer. Now the block diagram of the flow. First is the camera specification. Here we need to uh, place the camera in such a way that the road, that the depth between the road and the height of the camera should be constant and the angle should be fixed so that it will not change and then the precautions can be taken by covering the camera with a shield so that it prevents rain and dust and the camera is placed in such a way that the back part of the vehicles is seen now second is the video which will, which will be the input now the video is sequence of frames, so it has to be converted into number of frames. So here we have done video capturing and then frame extraction from it. Third is the center line. Here we are placing two center lines. Then the vehicle when it will come in between the two lines, it will capture that particular frame. So the better use, better use of memory will be done. And then the next step is medium filtering in which it reduces the impulse noise for further operations. After that, thresholding is done to convert that image into binary form, which is the further need for the morphological operations. Next comes the morphological operation. Here we have used morphological opening because it gave us a better result than the other operations. Here you can see the shadow part of the vehicle is reduced and hence the contour can be easily formed on the vehicle only. Now next step is contour and rectangular blob. Here the red color portion you can see it places a contour over the vehicle only and then after that around the contour a rectangular blob has been created. After that uh, it has to be decided like whether it is a motorcycle or a car. So according to the aspect ratio, ratio and the area, we are classifying whether it is a motorcycle or a car. Here you can see like there is no blob around the car, but there is a blob around the way motorcycle. After that, if it is a motorcycle, further process has to be done. It will capture that particular frame and from that, we need to take the head portion of the vehicle. Here, the head portion comes in 20% of the frame. So we will tap, we will take the ROI, that is region of interest from that particular frame. Here you can see the ROI. After that, we need to classify whether it, the rider has helmet or not. So now, for that, we have used a casket classifier. It is a multi-stage classifier. It has two algorithms for classifying HAR and LBP. We have used here LBP because of uh, uh, because of it, it takes um, low time to get trained. This is the step for classifying. We have to collect first database. Then we have to uh, take the feature of positive, uh, positive samples. Then we have to convert the uh, features into vector file. And then we have to train. As you can see here, we have taken positive samples. Is positive sample is only a samples which containing our object. Negative samples are any arbitrary sample which must not contain the detected object. We have used LPB, LBP, uh, linear binary pattern. We have used two inbuilt utility OpenCV underscore train cascade and OpenCV underscore create samples. Uh, using OpenCV underscore create samples, we have created one vector file, which is the input of OpenCV underscore train cascade. And using that uh, text file of negative image and vector file of positive image, we have trained our classifier.
as you can see here we have we have to mention number of positive samples number of negative samples number of stages feature type and the input file for positive sample and the negative sample input file and here you can see that we have successfully detected a helmet this is the limitation of our project that the if the car is a, Uh, if our uh, motorcycle is behind something else, we we are not able to detect the helmet, and we cannot detect the helmet of rider if there are two seater on motorcycle. Here you can see our output. Like as we run the program. Here is the center line placed on the video. So as the car or any vehicle comes in between the center part, it will capture that particular frame. Now see, here the motorcycle has been captured, but not the car because the center line is in between, and here the helmet is detected on the ROI. you can see that rickshaw is also not detected only the motorcycle is detected car is also not detected here there are two seaters so here the we are not able to detect the helmet now you can see here the motorcycle is behind the car so it does not create any block so this is our one of our limitation thank you